All right, guys, now we're going to do the Midwest, and we'll go ahead and do our brackets here. Louisville, doesn't matter who they play, Liberty, North Carolina A&T, doesn't matter. Louisville's the number one team by selection uh, Sunday. They picked them as the best team. They move on. I think Louisville's playing is good, even though, you know, uh, I think that uh, um, they're not necessarily the best team that uh, – I don't think they should have this seed. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to get into it as we'll move on down the line. Colorado State versus Missouri. I've got Missouri moving on against Colorado State. Oklahoma State versus Oregon. Oklahoma State, uh, they've just got some, some kids that can really play at Oklahoma State. They're going to make a big run uh, until they uh, uh, face a, another big team. Uh, St. Louis versus New Mexico, big team, Belican. Still won't know what a Belican is, but St. Louis, men. I, I think they are, are really a tough team physically. They're going to move on. Uh, Memphis versus Middle Tennessee, St. Mary's. Memphis too athletic at that point in time, and they're just going to go, uh, go past either one of those teams. Michigan State, Valparaiso. I'm going to pick Michigan State. Izzo is a good coach. I don't care you know, which year you're looking at. Michigan State should always be in the mix with this. Uh, just experience. Uh, then we got Creighton versus Cincinnati. Creighton, baby, go ahead and put it down right there. Creighton moves on. Uh, I like them. I think like their offense. I think that they're a uh, tested team. So we're going to move them on to the next round. Then Duke, I don't like them, but even Duke can beat Albany. So we'll move Duke on past into the next round. And we'll hope, and I'll pray, even though I've got Duke pick, I hope that Albany, New York hits 25 threes and takes the Dukies and puts them back into Durham, North Carolina, where they belong till next year. So we'll go ahead and back the deal. I don't have the same hate that Coach Caleb has for Duke, which you'll see here later on in the bracket. I've got Louisville up here at the top going by either Liberty or North Carolina A&T. A I don't see that. I don't see any upset happening there. Colorado State, Missouri, I've got Missouri going on based on defense, rebounding, and Phil Pressy. Phil Pressy plays point guard for Missouri. He's a great point guard. He can spread the ball around. I've got Missouri moving on. Oklahoma State, Oregon, that's a tough game. I'm going to have Oklahoma State going on. St. Louis and New Mexico State, I've got St. Louis moving on. Can you tell me what kind of logo that is? I don't know, but we're going to go ahead and have them move on. It's not a beauty contest, as you know. We've got Memphis. Middle Tennessee or St. Mary's, I've got Memphis moving on. Athleticism again. Michigan State experience up against Valparaiso, who's had a great season in their own right, but I've got Michigan State going on. I think Tom Izzo is a great coach. Creighton, Cincinnati, that's another good game. I've got Creighton going on. McDermott is too good of a player for Cincinnati. Cincinnati does play good defense, but McDermott and the Jays pull it through. Duke and Albany, I've got Duke moving on because I really don't think Lehigh is going to happen to Duke again. Here comes Dakota with his pick. First game, I got Louisville going over North Carolina A&T or Liberty. Louisville forces 18.4 turnovers a game, which is number one in the nation. Colorado State and Missouri. Colorado State's led by the Iverson kid. I think he's going to hit some good shots and go past Missouri. Oklahoma State and Oregon. Marcus Smart's is too good. He could be wooden finalist or freshman of the year to my book. I got Oklahoma State beating Oregon. St. Louis and New Mexico State. St. Louis, I don't know what their mascot is, but I'm still a believer. St. Louis over them. <laughs> Memphis and Middle Tennessee, Tennessee State, St. Mary's. I got Memphis too athletic. They're going to advance. Michigan State is going to beat Valparaiso. Michigan State goes ahead. Creighton and Cincinnati. Cincinnati plays too good at defense. I think he's going to slow down McDermott, and Cincinnati's going to advance. Duke is going to beat Albany. Duke advances. All right, guys, now we're going to go ahead and finish out our brackets. Uh, I've got Louisville versus Missouri. Louisville on fire, forcing turnovers, getting it up and down, hitting the three ball. They're going to move on. I don't even think that's going to be close. i got Ohio State versus St. Louis. That's an interesting matchup right there. Two big physical teams. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put St. Louis. I don't know what a billigan is, but with a thing that looks like that, I'm going to move on to the next round. Okay? <laughs> then i got Memphis versus uh, Michigan State. Michigan State experience is a coaching comes into play right here. I've got them moving on. Then I got Creighton versus Duke. Go ahead, Dukies, put it down. If you're lucky enough to get back Albany, then McDermott, know his name, know his name. He's going to put it up on you. He's going to knock you out, take you back to Durham, North Carolina, where you belong. 
go ahead and have a cheeseburger and watch the rest of the term. Okay? Then once we get to that, we're going to move in. We're going to see uh, Louisville versus St. Louis, which I think is going to be a good matchup. That may be one of the best games of the whole tournament right there. Uh, and we're going to see, uh, you know, I think that it's going to be a close one, but I went ahead with the number one seed. I'm going to go ahead and put Louisville down. Uh, to win that game, all right? Uh, then I got Michigan State versus Creighton, and uh, Michigan State is going to be able to hold down uh, McDermott. They're going to keep him under wraps, and they're going to move on into the next round. Then Louisville versus Michigan State, and here's where we're going to differ a little bit. I know that everybody's going to be on the Louisville bandwagon, being the number one seed, all that good stuff, but I'm going to tell you Tom Izzo is going to outcoach him. He's going to put uh, Michigan State in the Final Four yet again, and I think that they are a dangerous team. Watch out. Could they win a championship? We're going to wait and see. All right, to continue my Midwest bracket, here we've got Louisville versus Mizzou. Before I break down this game, just think about the point guards in this game. Peyton Siva, I'm sure you've heard of him, great player for Louisville. On the other side, you've got Phil Pressey. He's pretty much the heart and soul of that Missouri team. He's an assist giver, shot maker, and he can also create for the offense, also Alex Oriaki for that Missouri team. I really think if they're hot, they can make a run, but I'm still a believer in Louisville. Louisville beats Mizzou, and then my Billikens down here, they're going to beat Oklahoma State and move on to play Louisville. Memphis versus Michigan State. I've got Michigan State winning. Tom is a great coach. Duke and Creighton. I've got Duke moving on much to the hate of Coach K. Wood of the Dukies. I've got Duke moving on. Here I've got Louisville. St. Louis, and I've got Louisville going on. I'm a believer in Rick Pitino and his team. I've got them moving on. Down here, I've got a good matchup, Michigan State and Duke. I've got Michigan State moving on, setting up a Midwest championship game between Louisville and Michigan State. And I'm going to go against Tom Izzo. Think about how great the coaches are in this matchup. I've got Rick Pitino. I think his team's destined to make it this far. I think they're going to clinch that Final Four berth this year. I got Louisville rolling past Colorado State. The press is just too much for Colorado State. I got Oklahoma State beating St. Louis. Marcus Smart's just way too good of a player to be denied. Oklahoma State advances. Memphis and Michigan State. Izzo's just a great coach. He's going to have them prepared. And he's a, they're going to advance. Cincinnati and Duke. I got Ryan Kelly going off against Cincinnati's defense. And Duke's going to go win that game. Louisville and Oklahoma State. It's a good matchup, but I think Louisville's press is still going to bother Oklahoma State. It's going to be closer to what most people are probably are going to expect, be on the Louisville bandwagon. Michigan State versus Duke. This is where Duke just is going to fall off and go back to North Carolina. Michigan State is going to advance here, setting up a game against Louisville, which Louisville is going to win because they've already played like tough, some of the toughest teams in the country playing from the Big East. So that's why I got them playing in the Final Four. All right, we're back here now. We're going to go into their west region, which I think if you look at this, this is a tough region. Uh, not the toughest one, but this is a, a tough region. Uh, Gonzaga, I, love, I always like the Zags. They play Southern University. They roll on. So, uh, Gonzaga just too much for Southern University. Then I got Pittsburgh versus Wichita State, and I am going to pick Wichita State. Another 8-9 uh, seed. I think Wichita State's just got a little firepower over Pitt, who's a little suspect uh, throughout the season. Wisconsin, Ole Miss. I know Dylan Hunt is he's going to pick Ole Miss here, but I'm going to go with Wisconsin. Defense, they will dictate the pace. They're going to keep it low scoring. They're going to move on out of this one. Kansas State versus uh, Boise State to LaSalle. Kansas State just too much for the uh, either one of those teams. Arizona versus Belmont. Oh, and here we go again. I'm going to pick Belmont. I think Belmont's going to be able to move on. They're going to give the upset city there that 6-11 seed. New Mexico versus Harvard. I think uh, New Mexico is just too tough. Too, their offense is too much for Harvard, even though that they're going to try to slow the game down a little bit. Notre Dame versus Iowa State. Uh, I don't pick Notre Dame on anything, so Iowa State automatically moves on. Ohio State, I, don't, I think Ohio State's one of the best teams in this tournament, playing the best basketball right now. We're going to push them on through against Iowa State, who is a good team. I think they got a low seed. I think they should have been a little higher. They might have might have moved on if that was the case. So that's my first round picks. All right, as we continue into the West, I'm a believer in Gonzaga for a little while. We'll see how much I believe them as the bracket goes on. I've got Gonzaga getting past Southern University. Pitt beating Wichita State. I've got this Wisconsin Ole Miss game. I know I've been getting a lot of scrutiny for picking Ole Miss because it's an upset. Wisconsin does have a great defense. Ole Miss averages almost 79 points a game. I think Ole Miss's offense picks them, throws them through to the next round. I really do. I think that 
offense, Marshall Henderson will get hot. You can't tell where this team will go. I've got Kansas State here, and LaSalle Kansas State wins because we really don't know Boise State or LaSalle Kansas State is going to win that one. Arizona over, Bell, over Belmont. The Bears are going to get beat. The Bruins, excuse me. We've got New Mexico Harvard. I think this game is going to stay close. Harvard plays such a slow pace of offense, but New Mexico is going to find a way to pull it through the Lobos. We'll move on to the next round. Notre Dame, Iowa State. I just can't believe in Notre Dame. <laughs> After that national championship game of football, can't believe it. I'm going to move Iowa State on to the next round. Ohio State and Iona, do I really have to answer that? Ohio State moves on to the next round. And that's my bracket. My first matchup, I got Gonzaga pushing past Southern. This one, Pitt versus Wichita State. This is going to be a good game, but I think I Pitt will out-rebound them and outscore them. Wisconsin and Ole Miss, I think Wisconsin plays better defense than anybody in the nation right now, and I got Wisconsin rolling past Ole Miss. Kansas State versus Boise or LaSalle, I got Kansas State. Arizona and Belmont, I'm not a believer in Belmont. I got Arizona pushing past them. New Mexico and Harvard, I got New Mexico beating Harvard. Notre Dame and Iowa State, I think Notre Dame's team is faker than their linebacker's girlfriend. I got Iowa State winning. Ohio State versus Iowa, I got Ohio State rolling past them. <laughs> now we're going to go ahead and finish out the brackets. I got Gonzaga versus Wichita State, and I think the Zags just a little too much for Wichita State. Uh, that's why Gonzaga is the number one team in the in the country, and I think truly I think they really are at this point in time. We got Wisconsin uh, versus Kansas State. I think Wisconsin yet again is going to dictate the pace. Wisconsin moves on. Belmont versus uh, New Mexico, and I think we're going to move on Belmont. I think the Belmont again is an efficient team defensively, offensively. They're going to be able to outlast them. I got Iowa State versus uh, Ohio State, and Ohio State, I think, is, is the team on fire right now. They might not be the best team in the country, but I think they're the one that is playing the best, and that, at this point in time, that's all you really have to do is play the best basketball. Then we move on with Zags versus Wisconsin. This was a tough one for me, uh, but I went ahead and put Wisconsin because they're going to be able to slow that down. They're going to slow the Zags down. They're going to move on. I'm going to put Belmont and Ohio State in uh, the eight, uh, or Sweet 16, and I'm going to move Ohio State to the grade eight. I think that Ohio State uh, just outlasts Belmont right there. A little too much size that Belmont can handle. Then Wisconsin and Ohio State, big matchup right here, but Ohio State is the better team. They're on fire, uh, and I think we're going to move them on. They're going to be my final four pick right there. All right, as we continue on in the West, I'm a believer in Gonzaga. I've got them pushing past Pitt. They're going to make it past to the next round. Ole Miss, Kansas State. I've got a theory here. Kansas State's coach left them to go coach at South Carolina. I only find it fitting that Kansas, have to, Kansas State have to deal with the SEC. I've got Ole Miss beating Kansas State and moving on. Maybe I'm just biased, but I don't know. We've got Arizona here in the other round against New Mexico. I've got Arizona moving on. I am having faith in one Pac-12 team, and they're Arizona. Iowa State, Ohio State. I've got Ohio State moving on. Pure athleticism. Gonzaga, Ole Miss. My run comes out for my Rebels. I've got Gonzaga winning and beating Ole Miss to move on. Arizona down here at the bottom against Ohio State. Ohio State moves on again. And right here in my championship game, Gonzaga, Ohio State. I'm pushing Ohio State through to the final four, so Ohio State will be playing in my brackets final four. Dakota? In my second round, I got Gonzaga going by Pitt. I think Zagas have too much for them. Wisconsin and Kansas State, I've got Wisconsin there since slow the ball down. My coach gave it to play good defense. They're going to go by STEM. Arizona and New Mexico. New Mexico, I got New Mexico beating Arizona. Iowa State and Ohio State. I think Ohio State's just too much for Iowa State. Iowa State's going to give them a good run, I think, though. Right here, I got Gonzaga playing Wisconsin. Wisconsin's going to beat them. New Mexico and Ohio State. Ohio State just has too much size. They're going to go by them. And Wisconsin and Ohio State, it's been a good game. I think they split the season series, and uh, Wisconsin beat them in the Big Ten championship, I mean, the Big Ten tournament. I think Ohio State's going to redeem themselves and win that. All right, guys, we're back here. Now we're going to look in the final four. Dylan, you excited? I'm excited. Man. I'm excited. Dakota, are you excited? I'm excited? Yes, we're getting ready. Final four. This is what, what it's all about in college basketball to get here. And here's who we think is going to be the teams. I'm going to go ahead and put mine up uh, Indiana versus Georgetown. 
Michigan State versus Ohio State. And what I'm going to go ahead and call is Indiana is going to advance against Michigan State into my final, final four into the championship game. And I think that's going to be a, a big game as Michigan State and Indiana are going to play. I've got Indiana, Zeller, all right? I think he's going to be the factor into this. I think they're the number one team to start this, this year out. They're going to end the season number one. They're going to tear the dance down in Atlanta. Atlanta's going to be rocking. What do you think, Dylan? I'm going to differ you just a little bit. My final four, I've got Indiana versus Kansas. Louisville versus Ohio State. Let's start over with Indiana and Kansas. I think that's going to be a great game. But I've got Zeller and Kansas moving on. I mean, excuse me. Zeller and Indiana moving on down here to play in the championship game. Over here we've got Louisville, Ohio State, Rick Pitino. I'm such a believer in Rick Pitino. Rick Pitino moves on to play in the championship game against the Hoosiers. So that's my game right there. I've got Indiana versus Louisville. And I'm going to pick Indiana to come away with the national championship. I think they're just on a mission, Coach. Go ahead, Coach. In my final four, I got my Ohio State versus Louisville and Indiana versus Michigan. I'm going to start over here with Indiana versus Michigan. I think Michigan's a great team, but Zeller is just a good, too good of a player in the post. I don't think Michigan has a post to play against Indiana. And I got Indiana advancing, Ohio State versus Louisville. I don't think Louisville can press Ohio State. I think they got good guards just like Louisville, but Deshaun Thomas is going to be a difference maker, and that's what's going to make Ohio State go on and advance against Indiana. In that championship game, I got I'm mean, a different from Dylan and Coach Kaywood. I got Ohio State winning the national championship and tearing down the nets. And there you have it. We've got our champions here. Hopefully, they work out all right. And we're going to make sure you tune in again next Wednesday for our week two show, where we're going to see how we did on this big bracket of ours. Make sure you tune back in. We'll be comparing Mr. Perrin's bracket with President Barack Obama's bracket, and also we would like to get some emails and stuff from you all. Coach Caleb might get some hate mail. I might get some hate mail from Tennessee fans. Yeah, well, I'd say that you'll get some hate mail from Tennessee fans <laughs> after this, but Dylan, that's fine. Send us some send us some emails, send us, tweet us a little bit. We'll talk about it. We'll get you on the air a little bit. We'll say your name, do some shout outs, but hopefully this this gives you a little information. This is Southwest Virginia Bracketology. This is right here. This is real. So hopefully everybody enjoyed this and tune in again next Wednesday. Next Wednesday. Next Wednesday. Next Wednesday. And have those emails in by Monday night. That way we'll have time to get our answers ready, get everything ready to be filmed. If you want to email us, email us at phtvsports1 at gmail.com. It's phtvsports, the number one, at gmail.com. For Twitter, search us on Twitter at phtv1 in all lowercase. We hope you all tune in from Dylan Hutton, Dakota Jones, and John K. Wood. And we'll Freddie. And Freddie. We'll continue bracketology next week. Thanks.